Hi, my name's Jeremy and I'm a part of the SA Motor Team. With electric vehicles gaining in popularity over the next few years, we're going to see more on our roads. But with any new technology, there are some questions. Mark Borlase is here to answer those for us. Graham from Facebook asks, if I drive an electric vehicle from Port Pirie to Adelaide, will I make it home? Look, uh, although vehicles, a lot of EVs have got ranges over 400 now, the, the trip to Pirie and back with air conditioning and all that probably will need a charge somewhere along that trip. You probably won't make it up and back uh, in the one loop. A few people asked, how does speed and using the car's accessories impact the vehicle's range? Look, the reality is that once the car's at highway speeds, it doesn't take a lot of energy to keep it at that speed. Everything that's being run on the vehicle has power that's coming from the battery. And whenever that power's being used for anything other than driving the vehicle, it'll affect the range. So uh, if you've got all of the accessories going on, heated seats, windscreen wipers, lights and that, it can during that period pull the range down by about 40%. Bradley asked, are there enough places in regional and remote South Australia to recharge your battery? Short answer is right now, no. Uh, we know that the state government have put out over $13 million worth of grants to get that infrastructure built. Um, so in the next two years, we think that uh, the infrastructure will be much better, particularly in the regions. And the RIA's interest in Charge Fox has actually been working already to have infrastructure on the main freeways, from Adelaide to Melbourne, Melbourne to Sydney, Sydney to Brisbane, so that people with EVs know that out in those sort of main highways, there's at least some chance of getting recharging. Ian asked, what's the lifespan of the batteries and how much does it cost to replace them? Um, the price of batteries is really hard to tell per vehicle because the, the way they're integrated, the type of technologies, the cooling systems they have. But what we do know is the cost of batteries generically is coming down quite quickly. Um, the life of the batteries we think is, is going to be quite good. If we look at what happened with nickel metal hydride batteries in hybrids and the, and the Priuses, they're lasting about twice as long as they thought. They're getting nearly two decades out of them. Uh, so we expect that there'll be similar sort of life expectancies out of lithium iron. But it's also to remember that the, an EV battery is three or four times the size of a house battery. So when the car comes to the end of its life, the battery is still going to be able to be used as a, a household battery for quite a while as well. So it's got some repurposing that can go on with it. And lastly, Kylie asked, when are EVs likely to become more affordable in Australia? And what are your predictions for the used ICE vehicle market over the next five years? Look, the, look, the point of price parity, that is when uh, internal combustion engine, ICE vehicles and EVs are about the same price, uh, is being predicted in Europe to be around 2025, 2026 for C category vehicles. They're your, your Golf Corolla type size uh, vehicles. Um, Australia normally follows a couple of years behind that. So for us, it may be, you know, 26, 27. Uh, but at the same time, you've got actually manufacturers starting to move out of ICE engines. Uh, so, uh, look, people who've got ICE engines don't need to worry that there's not going to be petrol. It's going to be petrol around for decades. It's the transition across from what you'll be able to buy new in the market. Eventually, you'll only be, you know, in the next 20 years, you'll only be able to buy electric vehicles new. If you have any more questions about electric vehicles, contact us at SA Motor.